The DA Celia Brink has been removed as the city of Twane mayor. He lost a motion of no confidence at a council meeting. 120 councillors voted in favour of the motion, while 87 voted against it. One councillor abstained. Brink's outsting follows the collapse of the DA's coalition with the Action SA in the metro. It's not clear what coalition formation will follow Brink's removal. Governor. The best time this municipality was run is when it was Comrade Sputa Ramku. That's when the people of Sony were at work. That's when there was harmony. Of course there were challenges. There will be challenges even moving forward. But we've got experience as the ANC. And we'll use this experience that we have to turn this city around. So the, this perception that we want to create at all times, that whenever they are coming in, it means there'll be corruption. We can't allow it. It must not continue. The ANC is in the renewal path. And the ANC is serious about renewal. And it will renew, it will renew it even in Swan. There is also a commitment from the leadership of Swan. They will work with the provincial and national leadership in making sure that whatever happens here does not divide them, it's not factional, but it's uniting them, including respecting other political parties. Action SA leader Herman Mashaba says he's happy to have cut ties with the Democratic Alliance in Twane. It follows the removal of Twane Mayor Celia Brink. The entire mayoral committee has been dissolved and the Speaker of Council is expected to announce a date when a new mayor will be elected and sworn in. Mashaba says they will be watching the events to follow closely. We, we the Kim Maker, uh, the, the residents of the city of Tswane put us here to ensure that uh, we can bring some sense. And we thought in the beginning in 2021 that DA was, uh, was that partner, only to find how wrong we were that they were prepared to even actually step us at the back. So we'll try the, the ANC and we've made it clear to the ANC to say, guys, please, one thing that you must understand. Firstly, it's important to uh, agree on, as to who's going to be the mayor. And that, 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 that uh, ANC is happy to have uh, Dr. Nasi Pimoya as the executive mayor because if you look at all the councillors in the city of Tswane, who knows the city better than Dr. Moya? So they are happy for us uh, to nominate uh, um, uh, Dr. Recommend Dr. Moya as our executive mayor, and we will obviously look at uh, now get into the details of the other positions to ensure that uh, we can save the residents, we can stop uh, this corruption, we can stop uh, the system of of uh, servicing other communities and not savi saving others. We must save all the communities. We must collect the, re the, the revenue to ensure that we can provide uh, services. We must provide clean, drinkable water to people of Amanskral. We must put in a professional public service. We will demonstrate to South Africans that uh, we are capable of doing things uh, on our own. And we hope uh, that we're going to have um, the support of the ANC and their partners. Now the EFF says they welcome the removal of Brink. It's a situation here in the city of Tswane gives us a platform to further show the people of um, Gauteng that we are much more than capable of leading a government and taking over the, uh, the reins of certain uh, and specific departments and portfolios. So we are definitely um, looking at wanting to form part of governance. Um, we have removed the extremely racist democratic alliance coalition on the basis that uh, not only did they not take the workers of this city seriously, but its people too. You know, they've relegated the responsibility of service delivery orientation to even uh, racist NGOs such as Afroforum and the likes. And the um, issues of crime have not really been addressed, particularly from a metro perspective, because we do have a Department of Community Safety that has been extremely lull. The Let's bring in political analyst uh, Professor Dirk Kortzer, who joins us to reflect on the day's developments. Uh, a very good evening to you, uh, Dr. Kortzer. It has uh, been an eventful day indeed. We've seen reaction from um, employees uh, in Tswane who were celebrating as Brink was uh, told that he's out of his role. And of course, just uh, assessing some of the comments that are being made by the parties around this matter. What is your take on the latest developments? Yes, this is coming quite a long way. Uh, this is now the third time that the ANC tabled the motion of no confidence, and this time it has been successful. Uh, it is clear that it consists of three components, uh, the ANC, the uh, EFF, and Action SA. 
Whether action SI is the kingmaker, we will have to see. Uh, what is clear is that the S, uh, action SI is going for the top position, that of the executive mayor, um, is something which they couldn't manage in Johannesburg. So there are similarities with the, uh, this crisis that happened in uh, Johannesburg also, but there are also serious uh, and significant differences. Mm. Uh, the, the, big, the biggest difference between the two is, is that in Johannesburg, here the EFF is not part of the new dispensation, while here it is most likely that the EFF will have to be part of it, whether the ANC likes it or not. And that, to some extent, is going against the grain of the ANC or the trend that we have developed lately of the ANC trying to, to create some distance between them and the EFF. We know Action SA said it decided to ditch the, the DA and work with the ANC instead, citing the DA's arrogance and uh, as one of the reasons to part ways. And the DA, on the other hand, has accused the party of uh, backstabbing and playing right into the hands of the power-hungry ANC, as uh, the description goes. But with all the problems at hand, there are short-term liabilities, Professor Kortzer, that uh, Tone has failed to meet. The city's debts to ESCOM uh, ballooning to, to billions of rands, which ESCOM will be in court next month to, to account to. How does this affect the dynamics of the city as matters stand today? looking at uh, the, 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 the outsting and the real work at, on the ground that needs to be addressed? Well, I think these changes that we've now seen today is not going to change much in that respect. Uh, the financial situation of Tswani comes a long way. It comes from the time of the administration during the time of the pandemic. Uh, when they developed a, a very, very big debt of about four, five billion rand. Um, and they have been, uh, in the meantime, they've tried to, to deal to, to some extent with that. And that includes also the arrears with, uh, with respect to ESCOM. I think this is something which is going to take much more than simply a change of government. Um, it will have to take a, a much more concerted effort, effort from all the parties um, in the council. And, and I think the fact that there is so much polarization um, in the council, a clear group formed around the DA, and now other group clearly formed a, a, around the ANC, uh, which does not necessarily reflect what we are seeing in the other spheres of government, um, in other parts of the country, in the prov at provincial level, and then also at national level. So I think we are going, this is possibly not the end of the situation. At the same time, we have to keep in mind, there's only two years left for this uh, administration. Um, mm. So in 2026, there will be a completely new ball game. There will be new elections, new results, and they will most possibly look very different from what they are at the moment. Yeah, because uh, what we've seen is really an instance of, of musical chairs from previous Mayor Randall Williams resigning in February of last year, then embattled uh, Morunwa Makwarela, who was voted in because his tenure was, was short-lived. What kind of coalition formation will need to follow? I mean, as you speak about all the challenges, the, the kind of formation will be imperative in seeing the city's residents and ensuring that there is a level of service delivery. Well, I think what we have seen at national level is most possibly the only option in the end that will be able to stabilize the situation in Chwani also. As I've said just now, it is, it's a polarized situation for at least since 2016, where we have these musical chairs of uh, uh, mayors being in and out, uh, numerous emotions of no confidence. Um, and while in other metros, it has to some extent stabilized. This has not been the case in, um, in, in Tswane. So uh, what we are seeing in terms of a, of a government of national unity that is now stabilizing the national level, um, something similar will have to happen at, at the local level, specifically at, um, in the case of Tswane, in order to avoid these very regular changes of government here. Mm. What kind of leadership is needed in, in the interim? We heard um, Herman Mashaba speaking and asking to have the support of the ANC and other parties in electing their candidates, Swane Deputy Mayor Nasipi Moya, as the new mayor of the Metro. Yes, I, I think what we have to see here is, is that the, um, in this case now, the, the, the smaller parties are actually 
dictating or influencing very much the, the trends and the dynamics that we see in the council as a whole. It is not the two big parties, the ANC and the DA, and amongst, between the two of them, they control um, almost 70% of the, the votes in the council. It's the other 30% that's really de determining the dynamics about what is happening here and whether we determining which of the two coalition formations are actually in power. Um, and I think that those are the aspects that in, in future will have to change. Mm -hmm. It has been the case in Japan, in also. Yeah. But I think with the latest developments there, it appears as if they are going into a more stable situation. Mm. Members of the South African Municipal Workers Union had been with war um, with Brink as, they, as he took office, accusing his administration of being anti-worker and refusing to meet their salary demands. That's one part of it. In fact, in a statement following Brink's removal, Action SA also mentioned the stark difference between services provided in urban areas versus those in townships in prioritizing how services need to be managed and really just trying to find a balancing act. What kind of requirements will need to be met by the new mayor? Yes, I think if one looks at the politics of Tswane, it looks as if there are two worlds. There's yeah. the world that says the, the mayor, uh, the mayor, Sergei Brink, has done a very good job. Um, and that includes also not... Uh, black sort of residential areas, not the townships, but more closer to the center of Tswane. And then those that are talking about the, the townships and uh, saying, well, it is terrible there. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean, but it's sort of two completely different, mutually exclusive perceptions of what is happening in, in Tswane. And I think because of that, um, it is where we are at the moment. Um, the two different formations are presenting themselves as the champions of these different uh, sort of worlds of, of Tswani. And until there's some convergence, there's uh, some consensus that is developing about what, is, what are the needs of, of not only the center of Tswani, but also the townships, uh, we are going to have some problems in, in this respect. And I think I've talked with some other persons about this upcoming idea of a national dialogue. Mm. And we are talking about the notion of not only a national dialogue, but also local dialogues. And I think this is a possibility in order to deal with the issues of Tswani. It's not to deal with it through these political parties, formations and dynamics, but that a broader section of society will have to come together to, to deal with these issues. Yeah, very well. Thank you so much for speaking to us this evening and summing up some of the big leading debates and talks of the day. Reflecting on the day's developments, there is political analyst Professor Dirk Kortzer.